Now, all cardinal points are pretty much spiritual, as y'all can see. But they also have a lot to do with science as well. Because when you speak of the cardinal points, they align with the earth energy and, and it causes magnetism and gravitational pull. So when we're doing our rituals, family, okay, we do our rituals based off of some of the cardinal points as well. Lack of better words, okay? So it could represent psychic energy. So when you're dealing with the south cardinal point, when you're throwing your tools down on your divination map, that person is carrying or dealing with that type of energy, which can mean, you know, uh, like I said, magic, a person that deals with magic that's very psychic or can see very clearly. It, it represents the mind. It also could be guidance. It could also be that they're in school, they're learning, okay? Or they need to start learning, okay? Y'all got it? Okay, now let's go to the east. East is a representation of enlightenment mystical, eternal. Also can be that that person needs rest, relaxation, or sleep. So when you're throwing your tools and it lands on the east, the human element, that's what that person needs. Or pretty much sleep. Those are different things that that represents for that person that you're reading for, or divining for, okay? Everybody got it? What was the first thing you mentioned? Sorry. If for, were mystical. For the East Enlightenment. Eternal. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to go to West. West. Intuitive self. People that are very intuitive. That person has the energy of someone who has the ability to love unconditionally. That also can be a representation of fertility. They could either have fertility problems or they do, or, or they could be trying to have a baby or, you know, looking to have a baby. That's with the West, okay? Okay. Now... On top of each one that I told you, you got north, south, east, west. When we speak of the four cardinal points of the earth, okay? On a bigger picture, the north is the quadrant that represents the physical body. I need y'all to write that down. Next to the north. So the north is a quadrant that represents the physical body. Write that down. The West, you ready? Y'all ready for the West? The West represents the heart. The South represents the spirit. And the East represents the mind. Okay. Be that one more time. The north represents the physical body. The west represents the heart. The south represents the spirit. And the east represents the mind. In between, in between those main titles, you have the smaller titles that I've given you all when you're doing your divination, 
you'll know what to look for when you're reading that person based off of the tools and where your tools land, okay? Okay. Now, all cardinal points are pretty much spiritual, as y'all can see. But they also have a lot to do with science as well. Because when you speak of the cardinal points, they align with the earth energy and magnetism, and it causes magnetism and gravitational pull. So when we're doing our rituals, family, okay, we do our rituals based off of some of the cardinal points as well. But right now we're talking about divination. Y'all will learn about that later. But on divination, you're using that energy when you're using your divination map to get answers from each, each cardinal point of the earth, okay? And any beings that you're reading is going to represent one of these cardinal points of the earth, okay? Mama,